Filipinos Online report an alleged shortage of paracetamol in pharmacies as people in several parts of the country experience flu-like symptoms. While the health department assures the public there is no shortage of paracetamol supplies, pharmaceutical company Unilab says some of its brands are temporarily out of stock due to extraordinary demand. Unilab is the manufacturer of products such as Bioflu, Decalgen, and Neosep, all of which contain paracetamol used to treat flu-like symptoms. It also apologizes and assures the public that they are working with their partner drugstores and retailers to replenish the supplies as soon as possible. The high demand for paracetamol comes as COVID-19 cases continue to spike in the Philippines. On Tuesday, January 4, the Health Department reports 5,434 new COVID-19 cases. This is the highest single-day count since October 2021. Meantime, the government will also place Bulacan, Cavite, and Rizal under Alert Level 3 from January 5 to 15. Metro Manila is already under Alert Level 3 since January 3 until January 15, after local cases of the Omicron variant were detected. Under Alert Level 3, unvaccinated residents in Metro Manila are prohibited from leaving their homes except for essential tasks like buying goods or medical emergencies. The Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association is set to expel pole vaulter star EJ Obiena from the national team. This comes after Patafa released the results of its probe on Obiena over alleged falsified liquidation documents and late payments to his coach. The Patafa also recommends the filing of a criminal complaint of estafa against Obiena for over 6,000 euros or 360,000 pesos. This is the amount allotted for the coaching fees of Vitali Petrov from May 2018 to August 2018. Patafa is also set to file a complaint against Petrov before World Athletics for the violation of the integrity of Code of Conduct and will be terminated as a national team coach. The National Athletics Federation will also declare Obiena's backer and American businessman James Michael Lafferty as persona non grata. Meantime, Philippine Olympic Committee President Abraham Bambol Tolentino reiterates his support for Obiena. In a statement, Tolentino says the POC will make sure Obiena will still be able to compete in major world competitions. He also calls Obiena's removal from the national team a vengeful act. Last December 28, the POC declared Patafa President Philip Elahuico persona non grata and called for the re-election of a new Patafa president. Obiena currently ranks number 6 in the world and holds the Asian pole vault record. In the Tokyo Olympics, he was also the only Asian to reach the final round where he finished 11th. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The police will also file cases of quarantine breach against the parents of Gwyneth Chua, the woman who skipped quarantine after a U.S. trip and later tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement Monday, January 3, the police say the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group will be filing cases against nine persons, including Chua, her parents, and several hotel staff. Based on police investigation, Chua's father fetched Gwyneth from the Burjaya Makati Hotel shortly after checking in close to midnight on December 22. Chua partied in two restaurants in Poblacion Makati on December 23. Her mother dropped her off at the Burjaya Hotel on Christmas Day, December 25. Chua's RT-PCR test came back positive on December 26. Tourism Chief Bernadette Puyat earlier said some of Chua's companions in Poblacion also tested positive. The Supreme Court on Tuesday, January 4, suspends Larry Gadon over a viral video where the lawyer is seen hurling expletives against journalist Raisa Robles. Gadon's suspension is effective immediately until the Supreme Court lifts it. In a video that went viral on December 15, 2021, Gadon uttered profanities at Robles after the journalist called presidential aspirant Bongbong Marcos a tax evader. 
The Supreme Court also orders Gadon to explain why he shouldn't be disbarred. The court says Gadon's behavior is not only an insult to Robles, but also to the entire legal profession. BTS members RM and Jin have both recovered from COVID-19. In a statement released via Weverse, Big Hit Music says both artists ended their mandatory quarantines as of Tuesday noon, January 4. RM and Jin tested positive for COVID-19 on December 25, a day after co-member Suga also tested positive for the virus. They received treatment while in their homes for the past 10 days. Suga also recovered and was cleared from his quarantine on Monday, January 3. The agency adds all BTS members will now return to their daily activities. The BTS members tested positive after returning from a series of activities in the US. The K-pop group is currently on a break over the holidays, their first time off since 2019.